Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Frank Lampard. And it's posing the question, is Frank Lampard a good football manager? Well the truth is the sample size is indeed very small still. He's obviously only got about a year and not even a half of managerial experience under his belt with two clubs. One with Derby down in the championship, and obviously at present, Chelsea Football Club. The truth is, really when people mention the name Frank Lampard, it's hard not to think of his playing career still. Not just because he's fresh out of his playing career, but really because he was such a titanic figure in the game. Frank Lampard is arguably the greatest ever player to have ever played for Chelsea Football Club. He's their top goal scorer from central midfield, and there's an argument to be made he's one of the best attacking central midfielders in world football's history. So an illustrious, incredibly impressive career for Frank Lampard on the pitch. But how is he on the sidelines? Is he a good coach? What are people saying about him? What has he demonstrated so far? Let's get into it. But before we do, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy as this channel has daily uploads. Right, to so Frank Lampard, a little over a year ago, he was appointed Derby County's manager. It was an exciting appointment for them as he is a big name, but certainly a big risk. Again, I want to take this opportunity to reiterate, Lampard had no managerial experience. He did a bit of coaching with Chelsea's youth squad with Jody Morris, but really, this was a huge step for him. So it was a big gamble, but there were obviously some rumblings about his potential and how really he could do a lot of big things. So maybe it was worth the risk. So how did Frank Lampard do at Derby? Well, he finished sixth and his predecessor finished sixth, actually with one more point than he did. But Frank Lampard reached the player final, which his predecessor didn't. So. It's all a bit up in the air, but he did do marginally better. So on the face of it, that's a pretty impressive season considering it's his debut season as a manager, but really he did so much more than that. He wasn't just picking up the same team and continuing down the same path and doing slightly better in terms of reaching the playoff final. He completely dismantled the team and started again. He played in a new way, a much more direct and attacking philosophy, but also he implemented so many more young players. He may have had the help of a certain talented loanees, a couple from Chelsea and Fakayo Tomori and Mason Mount, but he also had Wilson who was an absolute baller as well and served Derby very very well. But if you ask any fans of the Rams, it was an exciting season. It was more exciting than the season before because of what Frank Lampard was doing. He was playing exciting football, he was implementing a lot of young players into the side and his ideas and footballing philosophies were new age and exciting and it's the kind of football that works in present day football. So ultimately it was a success and not only fans of Derby were really happy with him, loads of people who were fans of Frank Lampard say like Chelsea fans were really excited to see him doing well. But people that worked in football around football media, journalists and broadcasters, people that interviewed Frank or saw him around the club, they could tell something special was going on in terms of how this man held himself, how he was with the players and his footballing ideas. Certainly a lot of people saw great raw potential in the young manager. Even though Frank Lampard's first season at Derby County should be considered a success and he absolutely was being seen as a coach with loads of promise and a lot of potential, it still came as a surprise to many that Chelsea came knocking. Chelsea needed a manager and they needed someone that was going to play their young players from their academy while they navigated a transfer ban. But to be honest, it wasn't just about the transfer ban. For a long, long time, Chelsea have had a world-class academy and an argument can be made that Chelsea, at the moment, have the best academy in world football, especially since the decline of La Masia in Barcelona. Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich has long wanted Chelsea's coaches to implement the youth from their academy as well. So it kind of all made sense for Frank Lampard to come in because he worked with Jody Morris, the youth coach, and Jody Morris was actually Frank Lampard's assistant coach at Derby. So everything was interlocking and making for a perfect appointment at Chelsea Football Club. I guess people at first thought it was a risky and radical move, but when they sort of looked closer with the magnifying glass, it all kind of made sense. But of course, Chelsea is a completely different ask to Derby County. It's a different level, but Chelsea also have better players than Derby. So again, like it was for Derby appointing him, 
it was a risk. Frank Lampard seems to have kept his main ideology as a football manager, which he had at Derby and he's taken to Chelsea and he seems to be developing more and that is adaptation. Frank Lampard is almost the opposite of Maurizio Sarri in many ways. Maurizio Sarri has a very strong footballing philosophy but he's very very dogmatic with it. You could say that's good, you could say that's bad, a lot of people see it as stubbornness. Even if it's less direct than Frank Lampard, Sarri did want to play attacking possession football but so does Frank Lampard for the most part. Frank Lampard's just a little bit more direct and takes far more risks but the biggest positive for Frank Lampard as a manager, as a coach, is his adaptation. He will switch formations constantly depending on our position, which is great in terms of in-game pragmatism, but it's also really, really good in terms of the opposition not really being able to prepare for playing against Chelsea. When an opposition team knew they were playing Maurizio Sarri's Chelsea next up, it was a lot more easier to prepare for that game because they knew exactly what Chelsea were going to do. And actually, in Antonio Conte's second season, there was a bit of this as well. Opposition teams won't have that luxury when playing against Frank Lampard's Chelsea. So there is a pragmatism to Frank Lampard's adaptation, but there is one ethos that he sticks to and he does want to be direct and take risks. So there's a lot of positives on the face of it, right? He wants to play attacking, direct, risk-taking football, but also is pragmatic enough to change it and play defensively when needed or play a three-back system, a four-back system, etc. Another huge positive for Frank Lampard is he absolutely wants to give young players a chance and this has obviously been evident at Derby County and now is incredibly evident at Chelsea. He's giving the young lads a chance, especially the world-class kids that have come through the academy. Another positive for Frank Lampard is he's incredibly good with the media and always has been, especially as a player. He's always fronted up to cameras very, very well he's incredibly intelligent and actually has a really really high IQ and basically very good at communicating he's very good at thinking on the spot he's basically a thinking man and the media have generally always loved him over the years people have speculated whether someone like John Terry would become Chelsea manager maybe he still might purely because of his leadership qualities and what he means to the club similarly to Frank Lampard but the media does not love someone like John Terry certainly not like they do to Frank Lampard Frank Lampard is the kind of character that world football respects and is interested in and probably a lot of people are rooting for. So there's a whole host of positives and certainly the majority of that being more promise as things stand but is it all rosy? What are the negatives of Frank Lampard? Firstly naivety and inexperience is going to be there inherently purely because he hasn't managed for very long. He has got a lot of experience in the game and he has had the privilege over the years playing under many world-class coaches and an intelligent figure like Frank Lampard is going to soak that all up and take it on with him. People like Jose Mourinho and Ancelotti, etc. But that doesn't eradicate naivety when you're just inexperienced, essentially. But over his short managerial tenure, there is obvious problems. Problems that remain massively prevalent now in his current Chelsea side. And really it's two problems. One is his main Achilles heel and that's set piece defending. This was a huge issue at Derby County and it remains a huge issue at Chelsea Football Club. The second was a big problem at Derby and was a problem at Chelsea at the beginning of the season but to be fair to him it does look like it's improving with his pragmatic shape change and that's vulnerability on transition. Chelsea looks really really poor without the ball immediately after transition and often were conceding soft goals. To be fair to Frank Lampard this does look like it's improving but it does seem to be a soft underbelly of Chelsea to this day. But in terms of the set piece defending that looks as poor as ever and is a concern for Chelsea and Frank Lampard. But if you take a step back and assess the whole situation the set piece defending issue should be something that can be coached out of the side and really you could bring in set piece defending experts and bring them in to essentially eradicate the issue. It sounds like it should be easy but often things never are. Maybe you should get Sean Dyche in for a couple of months. But ultimately, the good seems to outweigh the bad. And you can see that in terms of the way the Chelsea fans have reacted with Frank Lampard with the patience, because what he's trying to do is very evident on the pitch. And the most frustrating thing for football fans is when they don't know what's going on on the pitch. They can't see a philosophy, an ethos, a plan. But with Frank Lampard, from Derby to Chelsea, you can see what he wants to do. Knowing what your manager wants to achieve, offers clarity, calm, and with that, patience. So, is Frank Lampard a good football coach slash manager? Probably yes, 
But more than him probably being good and looking okay at the moment, he's an exciting manager to watch develop because he's an intelligent man, he, the way he holds himself is very very good, he understands the club that he's managing inside out and he's got promising forward thinking ideas when it comes to footballing philosophy and implementing youth into his squad. All the good stuff really. Anyway, I want to hear what you guys think. Get down in the comments below and express your thoughts and opinions and expectations for Frank Lampard as a manager at Chelsea and just generally moving forward in his managerial career. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to follow me on social media, you're welcome to at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me guys, I'm out, you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck, I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk, outline my lines, I rap through thought, body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby